Hey guys, Chronic Override here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can download texture packs from Minecraft on Xbox One. If this tutorial helps you out, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I post new videos on my YouTube channel regularly. As always, if you guys need any additional help or have any questions, feel free to join my Discord server. The link will be down in the description below. So the first thing you want to do is install an app called My Files Explorer. So we're going to go into the Microsoft Store and we're going to type into the search bar my files and it comes up my files explorer you can click on it this is a premium app guys it costs two dollars and fifty nine cents or they have a free trial if your free trial expires and you can't afford to buy the two dollar and fifty nine cent app you can just make a new account or an alt account and use the trial on the new alt account and continue downloading and installing your mods that way but I recommend just buying it. It's only $2.59 and it gives you access to custom maps, custom mods, custom skins, add-ons, texture packs, a whole bunch of stuff. Anything that you can download from the internet you can install into your Minecraft Xbox One as long as it's compatible with the latest version of Bedrock. So the next thing we want to do is open up Microsoft Edge. And in the address bar up here, you're going to type in mcpedl.com. And once you're on the website, you want to go up here where it says texture packs and you can hover over it and then come down to any one of these. I'm just going to click on the 32 by 32. And I'm going to just use the first one, this dark blue four month anniversary. So I'll click on that. And then when you scroll down to the bottom, just make sure the supported Minecraft version shows the latest version. We are on 1.16 right now as of this video, so this will work with the current version of Minecraft. And we're just going to download this MC pack. If it's .zip, that'll work too. You can download that and extract it the same exact way. So we're just going to go ahead and hit save. And it's finished downloading. So now we can go ahead and hit the home button and open up My Files Explorer. You guys want to add this downloads folder to your home screen here. The way that you do that is by pressing the three dots here. Add folder to library. And then on the left hand side here you want to click on the Xbox icon. Select the downloads folder and then come over here and press select. Once you do that it'll add the folder to your home screen right here. And then if you click into your downloads you'll see the file that you just downloaded from MCPEDL. So I'm going to hover over it and I'm going to press start on the controller, three lines, and then I'm going to do copy file. And then on the left hand side here, I'm going to click on isolated storage and then click on packages at the top. In here, you want to look for the one that says Microsoft.Minecraft. And then click on local state, games, com.mojang, and then in here, you need to create a new folder. So in any of the blank space, you can just leave your cursor there and then press the three lines on the controller, the start button, and you wanna do new folder. You need to name this folder exactly how I do, all lowercase, resource, underscore, packs. Okay, and then you'll have a new folder here called resource packs. So we're just going to go into that folder and then we can click on the start button again on our controller and do paste. And that's going to paste that resource pack, the texture pack that we downloaded into our resource pack folder. Then you just want to hover over it with the cursor, press start again on the controller and you want to do extract. If it does not give you an extract button, then come into here, go to rename. Just take off the MC pack or .zip and try the other. So if it's MC pack, try .zip. If it's .zip, try MC pack. But mine seems to be working because it gave me the extract button here. So I'm going to press extract. And sometimes this can take a few minutes, guys. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm going to speed up the video here until it's done extracting.
All right, and once that finishes, you should have a new folder with the same exact name as your zipper MC pack. And you can go ahead and hover over the zip or the MC pack and you can go ahead and delete that. You just need the folder that is extracted in this folder. All right, and now that's pretty much it. So we can go ahead and open up Minecraft. And then on the left hand side, you need to go to resource packs and then under my packs, you'll find the one that you installed as long as you did everything correctly. So as you can see, the dark blue texture pack was there. I'm just going to go ahead and click on it and I'm gonna hit activate. Now that that is activated, I can go ahead I'm just going to switch this into creative mode and we're going to create the world and you'll see that the texture pack is applied. So you can already see the loading icon and the Minecraft logo changed so the texture pack is definitely applied and now you can see the world texture is applied as well as the hood that's all changed so the texture pack is working fine As always guys, if you need any additional help or have any questions, feel free to hop into my Discord server. That link will be down in the description below. Alrighty, until the next one. Coming in, big mama. I ain't got no guns, but I got a truck. <laughs>